What's up guys, Shay from Body Slam here and today we are going to unbox WWE Legend Series 13 Triple H from D Generation X and if you're not done with that we got two words for ya. Yeah! Okay I'm done. All right, check them out. Triple H, D Generation X, 1999, the infamous, the infamous D Generation X invasion of WCW. Very cool. Let's open them up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys something. I'm gonna tell you guys something. The boxes on the WWE Legends or just WWE elites in general are just so much easier to open than AW Unrivaled and Unmatched. Look at that. Just rip the side, slide them out, done. Easy. All right, this is the figure. This is a Triple H, the leader of D Generation X, complete with hard helmet, soft goods D Generation, D Generation X t-shirt, Camo pants, the megaphone, the infamous megaphone from the DX Invasion, and he comes with an extra set of hands as well. So let's take some of these accessories off. Let's take this megaphone out of his hand. And let's take a look at the figure himself. So, first things first, we're going to take a look at the face scan. Now, the face scan is well done. And hopefully we can get him to focus. The, the face scan is well done. Um, I don't think it's great. I don't think it's as good as the Chris Jericho that I unboxed on the last video. You should check that out right there, by the way. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's as good as the Chris Jericho, but I do think it's really well done. Uh, it captures his hair. Um, I mean, eh, yeah, captures his hair, eh, kinda, kinda, it could be better, it could be better, the hair could be better, could be better, but let's go ahead and take this uh, soft goods shirt off, the DX shirt is, is nice, I love soft goods because you can actually like pose the figures with a soft goods anything, makes it a lot easier, so that's him without and then if we take the pants off, we're getting there. All right, so this is the figure without any of the soft goods attire. Now, this is classic Triple H right here. The green, uh, well, the all black, and he used to wear like the different colors like in the, like, in the middle of the waist down through like the crotch area. On the back, you have the Triple H. On the front, you have the Triple H. But basically, I mean, this is Triple H from 1999. I mean, he wasn't he wasn't flashy before he started wearing the trunks. This was Triple H. Now, this figure, similar to the AWs, of course, leg movement. Now, the thing with elites is that they don't click when it comes to like limbs and like moving the knees. They don't click, they just kind of bend, right? So he easily holds himself up just like that because the joints are so much more tighter with the elite figures. Uh, same goes with like the, like the ankles. They just tend to like go in place, right? And then of course, like the, the shins kind of go and to a, well, you can just go all the way around with them, 360 degrees if you want to, but don't do it too much because they'll get they'll get loose if you if you do it too much, right? Um, torso goes back and forth. Uh, some people don't like this type of elite torso. I think it's fine. It it, it actually goes. I mean, I think it goes well with with the way that the elites are, are set up tighter joints all, all the time with like elites and of course we have just articulation on these things is crazy like if you want to like make them into some type of contortionist 
with the elite. I mean, you you can basically do that. If you want him to like be a fake snake <laughs> or something like that, you can definitely do that with an elite. And it, they just feel premium. Like you can tell like these are premium elite figures. They feel stronger, they feel better. And I feel like they always will. Mattel does an amazing job with elite figures. And I don't think that's ever gonna change. This is a this is a really nice figure. And of course, you have the whole DX. The whole DX. Billy Gunn has already been released. You have Triple H. We're waiting on China. And we're waiting on the Road Dog. And then I believe we are complete with the full set of DX. And then you can pose your entire DX in modern time from that great great moment in Monday Night Raw history where they invaded WCW. Some people may even want to do a DX and if they actually opened the the shutter doors, who would have came out? NWO, Hollywood Hogan, Kevin Nash, Scott Hall, Eric Bischoff, which we don't have a figure of Eric Bischoff yet, but we should have an Eric Bischoff figure at some point. But yeah, awesome figure nicely done i just love the way it feels they 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 just they feel better than an unrivaled figure and that could be from having years and years of practice and just knowing figures right mattel is an expert at action figures they, they just do such a great job uh, with their figures it, it just feels really nice so yeah that is series 13 triple h from the Legends line. I do wanna thank you guys for watching. Do remember to check out my figure shop, bodyslamtoys.com for all your WWE figure needs. And uh, like, comment, subscribe, become a part of the Body Slam Nation. And we'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.